Adventures. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to create this super, super cool moose munch tag to go along with the homemade moose munch I made to give away for holiday gifts. Also got these super cute bags at a craft store and made some reindeer food. And this Santa star tag was actually made very similar. So the, um, the difference would be the stamp set that I used here and I used the star framelits from Stampin' Up for this tag and the labels template for the moose munch. The recipe for this moose munch is from my friend Michelle Zindorf and you will find it on my blog simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below or if you're on YouTube just click on this video. All of these supplies are also available online there too. All right, let's get started. I printed off the words moose munch for our tags and I made, the, I made a template for this and you can go right to my blog and download this template and print it off. I like to make things easy for you. So you can get four out of a sheet. I just use a paper cutter or scissors and cut that sheet in half. And that tag shape comes from the Stampin' Up! Labels framelits. I'm gonna use the second to largest for the moose and the largest and the largest with early espresso. So I've got the magnetic platform that goes with the Sizzix Big Shop machine. One cutting pad down. We'll line up the second to largest framelit with the moose bunch with the words to, towards the top. Cutting pad on top and crank that through the Big Shop. And ta-da! Tag City! Woohoo! You also want to cut out a second just plain white sheet that we'll put on the back. Next I'm going to repeat that step with some early espresso cardstock and the largest framelit. And this gives us a frame around, around our label. While we have our big shot out, I'm gonna take the early espresso panel and put it inside the polka dots impressions folder. Sandwich between two cutting pads and place it on tab one of the multi-purpose cutting platform that comes with the big shot. Crank it through. And even though this step is totally optional, you're gonna wanna do it. Look at how cool this looks. It really adds to the project. Our moose comes from a stamp set called Walk in the Wild. And I just, I love the sketch art of this drawing. Again, it's available in my online store. I had a little walk in the wild of my own this weekend when I walked out on my back deck in Marlboro, Massachusetts, and a bald eagle flew by. <laughs> and I can honestly say, I have never, ever, ever seen an eagle. Honestly, I've never seen an eagle except in Alaska, let alone anywhere near my house. <laughs> or in my backyard, but up so close and so personal. Oh, it was just majestic, gorgeous, and a very cool experience. So I'm still pretty awed by that walk in the wild. Back to our moose. We're gonna color him with some Blendabilities markers from Stampin' Up! So I'm gonna use this Memento ink pad that go with the markers. Ink him up and stamp him. It's all right if he goes a little bit off the bottom of the tag, if the grass goes a little bit off the bottom. We'll be using the, these are brand new Stampin' Up! Blendabilities markers. I just, I'm so in love with them. Starting off with the browns, a lighter of the browns, and coloring the entire moose, even his antlers. And then I went just a shade darker, and I found the trick to, to shading in the moose. My friend Shana and I did these this weekend. We made a, a, several batches of moose munch, and we just had so much fun coloring him in and it's not there's something therapeutic about coloring but we really were learning the blend abilities and just the layering is such a key layering the color on starting lighter and working darker with this guy and I use the natural shading of the image of the stamp to guide with the layering and then just a little bit of the darker areas with the darkest darkest of the browns and next I'm taking the color lifter, not really an eraser, but it does lighten up certain spots just to really, really make him pop. He just almost looks 3D. The coloring is so beautiful. Love these markers. So rich, so beautiful. And surprisingly inexpensive for alcohol markers. Going to do the same with the old olive greens, starting with the lightest color. Going to color all around the bottom edge. And the grass where the moose is standing and then go with the medium shade to work a little bit darker but I mostly just did this around the bottom and then layered the darkest shade around really just around the bottom edge then if you want to use your color lifter a little bit you can there I'm just using it to blend just so just a hair now for our night sky I've got two different color ink pads soft sky and marina mist we're gonna start with the soft sky and a sponge dauber just goes right on your little finger dip it in the ink and in a circular motion, just rub it all around the card, all around the sky, and even behind the moose. 
say between his legs, <laughs> but it sounded wrong. <laughs> sure, it's totally innocent to be coloring in between a moose's legs. But once you've got your sky, then you can start with a darker shade, which is the marina mist, and I just went around the edges with this to give it a little depth. Now, for the last piece of the background, I'm using a stamp set called Ornamental Pine, and I'm using these pine needles in the marina mist ink that we already have out. We're gonna ink up the pine, and then go around the edges. I'm gonna stamp it twice, maybe even three times, before I re-ink it. And this is gonna give it some depth. It's like you're peeking in at this moose in the wild and just, wow. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take some Tombow liquid glue here. <laughs> Look at, you can see the moose on the, but this is actually kind of cool on the back. Tombow liquid glue on the back of both our moose and our just plain white label and just attach them. And this gives us our label that we can write on the back. And then all you do is just punch a hole in this and tie them onto your treat bag. Now this is a cone-shaped treat bag I got at a craft store. Stampin' Up! also sells cello bags that you can use. I'll also list the supplies on my blog for the Santa treats. And you'll be able to download the recipe here for this moose munch, which is awesome. I have been eating it ever since we made it this weekend. It is so good. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know which one you like the best. I really love the moose munch, and this would be great even for those guy gifts, even after the holidays. Be sure to visit my blog for hundreds more video tutorials, gift ideas, card making, it's crafting, etc. And my Facebook page where I post multiple times a day. Thanks for joining me today.